my way to uh, West Beaverton, sort of. I think it's where he lives. It's actually Southwest Portland to go pick up my friend Garrett Anderson, who's an amazing rider. And he's a Afghanistan war vet. And this is the real deal. He's a uh, real awesome, amazing poet. And so I'm super excited to have him. So we're going to go to 26 West. To get to Beaverton, you got to drive under this crazy tunnel. Pretty awesome. Turn on my lights. All right, so I'm here at Garrett Anderson's house. And this is going to be the uh, inaugural episode of Let's Do This. Poets in Portland eating food. Let's do this. Here's Garrett. Good to see you, brother. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, Good to see you. Good to see you, too. This is going to be fun. Yeah. We're going to have some fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is uh, Let's Do This. Poets in Portland eating food. And this is our guest, Garrett Anderson. And this is freaking pretty uh, low tech, so I don't have my selfie stick right now, unfortunately, but my selfie stick would give us some range to move around and stuff like that. It would make it look sort of like we had a, a real film crew. But um, we're just gonna kind of like embrace the Do fact it that it's school. awkward and weird and, yeah. and creepy and it's gonna be awesome, so. I'm done. Um, Garrett, I've known you for like four or five years now, and we started, uh, I started reading at Tony's Talking To, and I was a latecomer there, mm -hmm. but you've been going there. How long have you been going to Tony's Talking To? 10 years now. 10 years at Tony's Talking To, yeah. and now it's changed names, now it's called the Wildwood Saloon, and it's called The Last Shot? Last Stand. The Last Stand at the Wildwood Saloon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to Sandoval's over there, which is next to Home Field. Are we in Portland still? Yeah, we're technically still in Portland. Southwest Portland, yep. okay. So we're at Sandoval's Home Field Grill. So this place is pretty cool, it's like a bar almost. I think it actually is a bar, so. Portland Timbers, the championship team. So, so I'm stoked that you're cool about talking about, right, about veteran issues. Um, so can, is it, well, you were a veteran, what, what war were you a vet in? Uh, I served in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, Are you a mar Marine or Army? Yeah, I served in the United States Marine Corps from 2003 to 2007 and then the Army National Guard from 2007 to 2013. So you're in both the Marines and the Army? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, wow. So um, so what was your job in, in, the, in, the, in the Marines? Just uh, I was an infantryman. Infantry? Uh, yep in the Marines and uh, I carried the radio for my platoon. The radio guy? Yeah. Cool. He's the guy uh, He's the guy that nobody wants to play with in the Army men. You know, right? like when you're playing Army, yep. nobody wants, nobody to, be nobody wants to be the radio guy. <laughs> or the other guy that nobody wants to be is the guy with the uh, radar. That's right. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> the, checking the uh, He's looking for mine detector, yeah. Because <laughs> if, if he misses a mine, then he blows up. Yeah, and but he's also lost, not fun to play with. And you lost an, uh, an Army guy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad you... Um, Picked up my call when I called you because I was like, I'm, I, I wonder if you do this, and you like dropped everything. So, who, what's going on in your house right now? Got a six son at home, and uh, he's uh, uh, being cared for by uh, my wife. He's got kind of a stomach thing. And, and your wife was real happy that you were able to run out of the house and yeah, not so much. Make this movie. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, do you have any uh, new collections that you're working on? Anything that you're working on? Yeah, I'm uh, working on. Uh, a collection called Nostalgia Factory, uh, which are selected poems from the past decade I've been writing. Yeah. Poetry has been so uh, uh, important for uh, my own healing, and I think yeah. uh, probably Bruce Weigel or uh, uh, Yusuf Kumanyaka, who I think is another uh, uh, outstanding Vietnam uh, war poet. Yeah. Uh, uh, but that is, that is what I know more about in, in poetry land than any other kind of poetry. I All right, we got a burger here. We got two burgers. Looks pretty darn good. Uh, you're not gonna take the toothpick out first? I would probably take the toothpick out first. No, you but I'm a little more civilized. Falls apart, yeah. But I understand that 
You're a Marine, so that's what Marines do. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a toothpick. <laughs> right. uh, Lee Ermey, uh, uh, the actor from Full Metal Jacket and uh, a million other movies. Isn't that the guy from um, SVU? Law and Order SVU was the guy from uh, Full Metal Jacket? I don't think... Uh, I can't Vin remember. Vincent D'Onofrio. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Vincent D'Onofrio. He was the one yeah, that... Totally. He, yeah, yeah. He, Vincent D'Onofrio. He played Pyle. The guy that played... Um, the guy that... I live in a world of, mm -hmm. yeah, because my uncle was a Marine, so he would always talk about like being the first to go and the last to know, and mm -hmm. okay, I've already scarfed down my burger mostly, I just got little remains to finish, there's like some um, lettuce and stuff, and some onions that are like grilled onions, it's so good, Garrett's still got a couple bites left with his, so did you go to school? Yeah, I uh, went to Portland State. Portland State? Did you get a degree in, in uh, language arts? Yeah, history. History? Yeah. Okay. That's a good degree because then you can translate that to a, uh, being a history teacher at high school or something. Yeah, that's the only thing you translate it to. I don't know if it's a good degree, but uh, it's, no, it's well, a great degree. If you want to be a lawyer, you got to yeah, have degree yep. No, that's why it's, I got it. It's, 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 it's like dynamic. A language arts degree. Yeah. Uh, I also did it because I love history and uh, uh, I knew I could do well uh, in that program. So, yeah, I got a English English degree with a minor in creative writing. Yeah. So that gives me uh, qualified to make videos like this. That's right. <laughs> it does. So. And what else? Your wife's a teacher. Yeah. And what grade does she teach? She teaches. Uh, she just did uh, fourth and fifth, but I think she's going back to third this year. Oh, okay, it's third grade, so she gets along with you really well then, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know um, Oregon is well-renowned for its um, micro-brew scene and its food scene and stuff like that. So what's the restaurant that we're at right now? We're at uh, Sandoval's Home Field. Sandoval's Home Field, and you're drinking, uh, must be like an IPA? Yeah, Bud Light. Bud Light. Okay, so Bud Light's one of the rare beers that come from Milwaukee? Yeah, I want to, something like they're hauling now. I don't know who owns them. <laughs> So there are Bud Light drinkers even in the state of Oregon, so that's good to know. Yeah. America. It's not always my go-to beer, but uh, you know, if you need enough beer to keep going through the day. Uh, what about the Silver Bullet? Are you a fan of Coors Light at all? Yeah, sounds like uh, they do tater tots at this place also, which is a uh, uh, fine living, fine dining yep. sometimes. So when we finish this off, do you think maybe I can take you to your house and you can maybe show me some of your work? And It'll be hard to do. Uh, and. Uh, I've had uh, the same media management plan uh, since I've been going to Tony's, which is a... Uh, uh, media management plan? Yeah. I like that you don't read from your telephone. No, I never do that. So many people in Oregon, they read from their freaking telephones. No. It's like, what? No, trees will die so I can read. Yeah. Uh, I never see it afterward. Oh. Uh, so uh, at some point, it must make it to the laundry uh, uh -huh. and get thrown away or something. Oh. Um, but... Uh, so that's, that's your media. That's my media management, management plan. plan. Yeah, I print it out the night before and then I lose it. Sometimes they don't come back. I know that uh, from from the event. <laughs> so have you ever like won any um, prestigious poetry awards or any publishing contracts or anything like that? Uh, I won a poetry award uh, a few years ago uh, called uh, the Words of War. Uh, Words of War poetry award uh, hosted by the Headstrong Project. So that was cool. They flew me out to New York uh, City, yeah. uh, and I oh. got to read my poem. Uh, and then I got to introduce uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, wow. uh, so he could read a poem about war. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. More celebrities reading poetry. Yeah. yeah. About wars that they never went to. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, he, he'll do some fundraising for uh, veteran mental health. Yeah, I know it's good he was there. Good. All right. Um, so now we're gonna try to go down to your back to your house, and maybe you can. Print something for me and show me a piece of your work or something. We can end the video like that or what? I think, think? I, I think my printer's dead. Uh, I'd, uh, I can send you a picture or uh, uh, I can show you a poem on my computer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, show me a poem on your computer. Okay. I'll film it like that. I do, I do want to ask my wife first because of my son. Oh, yeah, uh, ask your wife first because yeah. she's going to want to kill me too yeah. probably for taking you out of here. But I didn't kidnap you, and I want to make sure that that's... Absolutely. Actually, no. I'll bring my computer down. I can show you the poem on the computer. Oh, yeah. I'll, Put it I'll, on your I'll show you my collection and how everything's working. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, Garrett's going to show us 
what he's been working on. So this is your collection? Yep. This is Nostalgia Factory? Yeah. Starts with a poem about my parents making love and creating me what I thought that might look like. And do you have a publisher that's looking to, 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 to put this out for you? No, I, I read over at, uh, at The Last Stand, uh, yeah. the Wildwood Saloon, uh, and that's publisher enough for me. It's probably gonna be myself. Uh, I need a chat book. Like, I've been yeah. reading there for a decade and I don't have a chat book, which is... Uh, you know, Nathan Tompkins has like three or I know, four I know. Everybody chat books. I, I, I think uh, uh, quite a few people do, but uh, that's what I'd like to do with it. There's a lot of like local presses though that can maybe put something like this out. Like, Yep. From Vancouver, I know some people, and also in Portland. Let me know. Okay, I will. <laughs> All right, man. All right, brother. Thanks for doing this for me, Garrett. Definitely. Thanks for being here, Ian. Later, bud.